you all have that. We're going to get started <laughs> um, pretty soon. I'm ready when you are. Yes. Okay. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Um, everybody that is, you know, still, you know, coming into the room, welcome. Um, so here I have Ms. Nedra Bell, like of I Do Custom Elopements. Thank you so much for being here. Um, she specializes in micro weddings and viral renewals. And mm -hmm. she's, she's here today to, to give us some insight about planning a wedding during this pandemic. Like that is the underlining question right now, because I know if you are newly engaged um, and you don't know where to start, um, this, this session is where you should be. Um, so I just want to take this time to welcome Ms. Nedra here. And um, if you have any questions for her, please go ahead and put those questions in the chat. I will be taking a look at it and um, we will discuss it um, later on. Um, and then also just a reminder, we have some giveaways. We have some juicy, juicy giveaways. So you have to stay through this session to know who wins. So you have to participate in a session to know who wants the giveaway. So um, like I said, make sure um, you post your questions in the chat. If you have any questions as she's speaking, um, we will get back to your questions um, after she speaks. And then we're also going to announce the giveaway winner. And Ms. Nedra, take the floor. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Thank you for inviting me. Uh, it's a wonderful opportunity. I'm so grateful to be here and to help out. Um, so a little bit about me and what I do. My name is Nedra Bell and I'm the owner of I Do Custom Elopements. Um, as you all know, weddings can cost an average of upwards of $20,000, um, typically starting a couple off in debt. And at I Do Custom Elopements, we deliver your dream wedding flawlessly, stress-free, and most importantly, debt-free. So we offer an all-inclusive package that comes with your photography, your cake, your bouquet, your custom ceremony, all bundled together for under $2,000. So yes, hold your seats. It's absolutely fantastic. I've been able to partner with wonderful vendors in Houston that give me amazing rates. And I trust these people because they are the people who actually did my wedding uh, 10 years ago. So it's fantastic service. We've got nothing but five-star raving reviews. And my mission was just to offer everyone a, an accessible, beautiful event without having to break the bank. Um, I, I've been there, I've done it, I've spent, I've gone over budget, and I know that you feel so much better when you have those extra commas in your bank account, and you can use that for your vacation, or use that for a down payment on your home, or put that in a trust for your children or your future children to be. So my mission was just to offer this to everyone that wanted to take me up upon the opportunity to really just start their life off as a a new married couple with cash in the bank. So that's what we do at I Do Custom Elopements. Um, we also do vow renewals, huge, huge on renewing our love every one, three, five, 10 years. You wanna do a 20 year ceremony, we do that as well. Um, so that's something for you to look forward to after you've uh, taken your nuptials. So we'll get started here. Um, our session today, micro weddings and saying I do during a pandemic. So let me share my screen with you all and we'll get started. So here we go. What is a micro wedding? So a micro wedding is, it's an intimate affair. Typically no more than 50 guests are allowed or invited. And these are people that you talk to or you see on a regular basis. Um, micro weddings feature the time honored tradition of, an, of a traditional wedding um, and just it's a little bit more um, umph to it because it's a smaller group of people you can really customize and tailor it to all of your love and wedding needs. What I really like about micro weddings is the groom the grooms get really involved. They're more engaged and emotionally invested in the planning because it's really you two doing this together to showcase your love. Um, 
it, it just feels like they they really really get in on the wedding planning which is not typical because a, a large wedding usually feels just like it's a bride show uh, but when it comes to the micro weddings the grooms they get all into it ladies so I know that's a part that you would really love so you can go big you can go small but the most important thing about the micro wedding is it's really about the guest list, making it a real intimate affair. It's private, exclusive, and it's special. So you can get creative with your decor ideas and really pamper your guests because you've cut down that guest list. You have more budget to do um, intricate and really special things. So if you wanna do a special culinary treat, like having a guest chef, if you wanna have surprise entertainment, you're in your spouse's favorite band. Um, when you really decide to make this day about your love, your bond, your commitment, your history and your future together, the possibilities are endless. Uh, for what you can do, as opposed to accommodating 150 plus guests at an event. Um, one other thing that I also really enjoy, because I'm a huge traveler, um, is that you can plan adventure activities. Because it's such a small group, you're more mobile. So if you were thinking of doing hiking or a helicopter ride or a yacht cruise or karaoke, as we all love, you can really incorporate that into your ceremony and your um, event afterwards and have a really fantastic time. So you may ask, like, am I losing anything when it comes to a micro wedding? Yeah, you are. You're losing out on extra work that you would be doing. You're having less stress because it's less people to coordinate and plan around. It's fewer people to please and it's a smaller expense. As I said, you can go big with it. You can keep it small. It's totally up to you. But one of the main, main factors when it comes into wedding planning is the amount of people. And that's what skyrockets your budget because then you need to rent the seats, you need to get the plates and you need to have a venue that's going to accommodate those. So you lose a lot of that when you decide to do a micro wedding and you gain so much. So now we're at to wed or to wait. That is the question. I've stopped so many people from going to the courthouse or just postponing their event by giving them options and letting them know that you can have a fantastic ceremony. Everything that you're looking for in your wedding day, everything that you've dreamed of, you can do it and we can do it in budget and we can do it now. There are just a few compromises that we're gonna make and we're going to restructure and shift a little bit because of the times. But to wed or to wait, we can definitely wed. What about the reception? Great question. So this can be done on your ceremony date with your attendees or on your one year anniversary with all of those that you would have had attend. That's a great way to incorporate that um, group of people, that large extended family, extended friends that typically comes to a wedding. So you can have a one year anniversary party and use that as your reception. Um, and of course, by that time, we're expected to have resumed normal functioning life. Um, and you can feel free to go all out then. Um, you can even add a trip afterwards um, to signify it as your second honeymoon or your first if you didn't take one after your nuptials. You know, doesn't that sound fun? So now saying I do during a pandemic. Things to include. Social distancing bracelets. Okay, this is the new trend that's out now that's being used. Um, green signifies I'm okay with contact, high fives, hugs, let's do it. Yellow is I'm okay with talking but not touching. And red is I'll say hi from six feet. So what I really love about this is you don't have to ask, you don't have to be faux pas and not be sure whether someone wants to be greeted in a certain way, their bracelet band is going to tell you. And as you can see in the top right here, you can customize it for your personal ceremony with your wedding colors and do your bracelet bands um, in those tones. Another thing, custom masks 
and individual sanitizer. So here um, on the left, I've got Jamie Lynn Lettering, one of my great friends here that does this beautiful, beautiful calligraphy work. Um, this was at an event we went to um, in the Heights. So as you can see here, you can do your custom sanitizer as well as your custom masks. And I really do recommend providing masks, whether you do them custom or not, just for sanitary purposes, because the disposable ones need to be disposed, but we know we don't all do that. The washable ones need to be washed. I'm guilty, we don't all do that all the time. I keep a pack of 50 in my car that I can go in and out with because I noticed with the disposable, I was not washing it as frequently as you need to. So you wanna be mindful of that with your guests and just provide them what they need to celebrate in a safe environment. You can also do um, these gorgeous individual glass sanitizers and customize them for um, your ceremony date. Now we're going to go to continuing with the top things to include in your ceremony. Take it outside. Take it outside. So of course, uh, outside, outdoor venues, they allow for fresh air, um, more airflow, and guests have more room to roam. Um, it's a really great idea to do that now if you want to go ahead and do your ceremony. Another thing is saying bye-bye to the buffets. Um, long lines of people and shared utensils uh, for serving, it's, it's just not ideal right now. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna shift and we're gonna opt for personal plates. Um, you can do this at dinner if you'd like, or if you want to have it at a venue, then just make sure you have your catering know that we're going to do individual plates. We will not do buffet style. Another thing, take shots. So not alcohol, but fresh juice, you know, or, and add a little emergency in it for a spark. It's fun. It's healthy, it's on trend, and it's just a really great to incorporate a, a fun, a great way to think about what we're going through right now um, and taking in a, a fun light. So do some shots, girl. Uh, the last two things, be transparent and now and laters. So with the be transparent, you want to tell everyone the rules of your ceremony. With each invitation, you want to list um, a brief list of rules so everyone knows what to expect. You know, we will be social distancing, we will provide masks and hand sanitizer, please use them both. And of course, um, stay home if you're feeling unwell. Um, you wanna let people know what they're coming into so that they feel and they know that it's a safe environment for them to come and celebrate with you. And with the things that we've listed prior in this session, that's how you lay it out to make sure that you are providing that for your guests and you have a wonderful day. Now with the now and later, incorporating that into your wedding during a pandemic, wed now, play later. I, like I said, I'm all for travel. We can't really go anywhere right now, but why let that stop you from having a fantastic wedding day, especially if you have a vanity day um, like we, we did one earlier this year, um, 10, 10, 20. I'm not going to miss out on my 10, 10, 20 wedding because I can't travel. Maybe we're going to do that next year on our one year anniversary. So take those things in mind. Know that you can still keep your day and we're just going to do a now and later. We're going to wed now. And then we'll travel later, we'll do a honeymoon later, or we'll do a destination party later. Take your friends and family with you. There's so many options. So most importantly, just know during this time, as the cake says, still we rise. We have the opportunity to bond together and you are taking the opportunity to join together with the one that you love for the rest of your life. We can do it now. We're happy to do it now. And we can safely and efficiently do it now. So thank you so much um, for uh, joining us for this session. And I'm happy to answer any questions that we have. Do we have any questions that came into the chat? Okay, so Nedra, can you kind of tell us like, what is the proper etiquette for if to say, 
you know, we have, we keep, we, we try to stay safe and mm -hmm. say that somebody is exposed to, um, um, Corona, mm -hmm. what is the proper etiquette for letting other guests know, um, that they've been exposed? Well, the, I'm all about prevention. So that's why, it, like I said, you lay down the groundwork and you tell everyone the rules. Stay home if you are unwell. We will be providing uh, masks as well as sanitizer. Use them both. And please social distance. So we want to try and prevent this from happening. If it does happen, then remember with a micro wedding, these are your closest friends. These are the people that you talk to every day. It's no more than 50 people. I like to keep it at or under 20. So it's not going to be something formal with you're sending them a letter or you're sending them an email. No, girl, I'm calling you. Hey, I want to let you know at the ceremony of the other day, blah, blah, tested positive. I want you to go and get checked. That's how we're going to do it. Because remember, that's the benefit of a micro. These are your closest people. You're not calling 150 folks that some of them, you may not even know your number, your mom or your dad, these were their friends and they have to be invited because of, mm -mm. I've got you on speed dial. You're on the top of my text and we're going to chat and talk about what happened and safely make it through this. Awesome. Um, is there anything else you would like to share, Nedra? Um, I'm still waiting. If anybody wants to ask Nedra any questions, this is the time. Please go ahead and feel free. Um, if, if you want to share any last remarks, Nedra, while people are still adding their questions to the chat. Yeah, no problem. So um, a little bit more about what we do um, at I Do Custom Elopements. Um, I, when I have a bride, we, I have a lookbook that we go through. Um, and in this lookbook, as I said, with our all-inclusive plan, you do get your flowers. Uh, that's the bouquet and the boutonniere. You do get uh, your custom cake. You get your photography. You get your wedding done on location. Um, so we go through a lookbook. We sit down together, or if we're going to do it virtually, we'll go through it virtually as we're doing now. Um, and we make the selections. Uh, one of the great things that I love about doing these small weddings is that they're so personalized. One of my last bride and grooms, they had their ceremony at their new home that they're purchasing. So they christened it um, with their vows. Um, there's so many amazing things that you can do when you take it a little bit smaller and take it a little bit more intimate. And the big thing to me is you save so much money. Um, another great idea is wedding at your first date location. It's, I mean, there's just so much you can do to make it special and to make the day all about the two of you. And I really enjoy doing that and helping couples customize um, how they're going to celebrate and christen that special, special day. Thank you. Thank you so much. So I don't think we have, oh, I'm sorry. We do have a question. Um, do you think it's possible to plan a micro wedding yourself or, or, or is it best to get a wedding planner? Yeah, you know, that's totally your preference. Um, I pride myself in our motto, which is stress-free, debt-free. Anytime you're adding and trying to do it yourself, you're adding in a cake vendor, you're adding in a photographer, you're adding in food, you're adding in invitations, and now you've got to find all of those things, select from all of those things, taste all of those things, contact all of these people, wait on them to contact you back, see if it's in budget, try and go, it's too much. I don't do it. So you can do it yourself but then you miss out on that stress-free, debt-free part um, that's offered with my services. Um, I do encourage everyone to visit the website, idocustomelopements.com, or check us out on Instagram at idocustomelopements. Very responsive, um, happy to talk it over with you and to um, help you make the best of your day. And this last question is for me. Um, 
Can you tell us like the size, like what's the maximum size, guest size you would say is like a micro wedding? What do, what yeah. do you consider micro? Mm -hmm. 50. Once you've passed 50, um, then that's no longer considered micro, but 50 is typically the, the max for a micro wedding. Thank you so much, Nedra. Yeah, my pleasure, my Thank pleasure. You. Thank okay. you all for joining. Um, as I said, if you have any other questions, I'm so happy to answer and assist you in your- I actually have one more question. Yeah, go for it. Um, do you provide the venue as well? No. So the venue is all your choice. Um, in my lookbook, I do have um, some preferred venues that I have that I've worked with before. So the Houston Waterwall, or if you're looking for a more rustic event, then we can go out um, down I-10. I have a beautiful place there with a lake and a gazebo where we do the ceremony. So I do have options that I can give you um, if you don't have a place in mind. Um, but we sit down and we talk about that and you let me know what you're looking for. If you're wanting to do more of a beachy scene, we can do that too. Okay. And I have another question. Um, so we, we know that you specialize in micro weddings. Um, and for, you know, just, just for brides who don't know, is it best, if they are wanting to do a micro wedding, is it best to go with a, vent, a planner that specializes in that? Or do you think every planner knows how to achieve the same thing? I think that you go where people specialize in what they do. Uh, that way you know that you're getting someone that is really passionate about that subject. I'm passionate about keeping it small, keeping the cash and doing something else with it. Um, now, don't get me wrong. There are other wedding planners that can do a micro wedding, but they typically um, specialize in doing those 150 to 300 and even more guests. And that's what they're really fantastic in. But because this is my specialty, um, I'm quick thinking if things need to change. I'm fast acting if you decide you want it to add in a little bit of something else. Um, it just comes natural to me because it's what I'm passionate about. So can anyone do it? Yes, just like on Ratatouille, anyone can cook. But you want to go to those that specialize in exactly what you're looking for. Right, right. Oh, the questions are coming. Okay, so what happens if the micro wedding turns into a macro wedding? Mm -hmm. We don't do that, girl. <laughs> <laughs> what what we do is you make your list, your partner makes their list, and you decide who are the most important people that we want to share this day with. Um, if everybody can get the photos, okay, we can send those digitally, we can send fantastic Christmas cards, we can do a very, very cute and posh Valentine's uh, Day card that has your wedding photos in it. So everyone can really see and participate in the day that way. But we are, we're going to keep it micro by saying, who do we want there? Who is going to back us up in this wedding? And who's going to back us up in this marriage, I should say? Who are we going to call when we're having an issue? That's who you want at your wedding. That's who you want standing behind you. That's who you want there being in your nuptial ceremony. One thing that I, I, I've seen that I love and I haven't had the chance to do, but I would love to do it, is to wed the bride and groom while they're encircled by their guests. You can't do that with 150 people, but you can definitely do it with 25. And you, you're encircled by your guests and they're holding hands and they're feeling and sending you their well wishes and love and prayers as you exchange your vows. I mean, I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it. So those are the kind of things that we can do when we keep it small. Um, and you don't, you, you're not gonna go macro. We're gonna keep it micro. We're gonna set the list, keep to the list because when you really go down it, you can narrow it down to who you actually need and want there. And and um, Nedra, can you, I know you mentioned this earlier, but can you let us know again, how many people are in a micro wedding? Yeah, so your attendees are, are no more than 50. Um, you can go from just you and your partner on up to that. Uh, but typically when it's micro, it's no more than 50. Well, um, 
you you really explained it well like <laughs> i even myself as a planner like mm -hmm. am getting you know a lot of great information from everything that you said and awesome. I just want to appreciate you. Thank you so much yeah, for taking the time. Um, do, do you have any closing remarks? Anything else you'd like to add for the brides out there? Yeah, just sending you guys love and blessings and happiness, peace and health uh, during this time that we're going through. Merry Christmas to you all. And I'll see you online. I do custom elopements. Thank you. Thank you so much, Nedra.